Hi, welcome back to another amazing video. Today, we are here, as you can see, at Coney Island here in Zephyr Hills, Florida. Some may call it Zephyr Hills, but it's not. It's Zephyr Hills, Florida. Um, so we're here at Coney Island. Never been here before. I've passed this place a billion times. I've never been here before in my life. So, But today, we're going to try it out. And um, you see people pulling in. It's going to be pretty busy. And um, we're going to go in and get some food. We're going to come back, and we're going to eat it. And I'm going to let you know exactly how Coney Island is. So let's check it out. Uh. All right, now we are back. So we do have the goods. We got good old sweet tea made right here in Zephyr Hills at, in this establishment right here at Coney Island. So let's try that out first. Mm. It's good and sweet. Now, one thing about Florida sweet tea that probably or probably any southern sweet tea, it's sweet as fuck. <laughs> it's sweet as hell. That's for sure. Sorry about the F word. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do better on that. Uh, it's sweet as all get out. Uh, it's super sweet. But the sweeter the better, they say. It's Florida tea. That's for sure. It's what I grew up on. Now, this is the bag. So I'm gonna have to try to make a, a different, um, can't really do a thumbnail. Well, I guess we could. Ooh, I forgot. I guess my onion rings spilled the bag. Well, let's try these. Look at that onion ring. That sucker is bad. No, I don't think it filled. I don't know. I don't know what. Oh, that's probably, oh, hold on. Let's try this first. These things are bomb. I do want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I'm not going to say new and old anymore. Um, I just want to thank every one of you. I love every one of you. If you subscribe, thank you so much. If you stay and subscribe, thank you so much. I love all of you. Um, that being said, these onion rings are fire. They make them right here in Coney Island. They make them right here. So not everyone's going to be perfect. That one's not as perfect, but insanely good. These don't need ketchup. When you see onion rings like that, you know they're going to be badass. <laughs> man, no oh man. I got a few different things. I forgot the condiments. Man, oh man, these things are so good. They're hot, fresh, crispy. If you can hear that crunch. These, thing, these things do not need, and that's the rest of them right there. These things do not need ketchup. Look at that. I'm making a mess, but it's okay. Because while these things are hot and fresh, I'm going to show you them. These things are just as good as a Habit Burger Grill, if not better. I will come here just for the onion rings. Now, this place has been here for a while. It says since 1960. And there's another location that I know of in Wildwood, Florida. I was just there. But this one looked better. So I wanted to come here. Because I passed this one first. But. All right. See what we got. Oh, that's yes, right. I got a corn dog. So let's try the corn dog. Hmm.
Am I, um, am I, um, in my opinion, when you come to a, I don't know what a coney is. I guess it's just a, another word for a hot dog. When you come to a hot dog place, they had burgers in there. I wasn't going to get a burger at a hot dog place. I wanted to get hot dogs at a hot dog place. So one, I got to get a corn dog at a corn dog place, at a hot dog place. Because corn dogs are awesome. It's good. It could be a little crispier. But it was wrapped in uh, foil, so. But it's still legit. Still really good. That there has really. I was going to get the foot long. But I have a couple of hot dogs that I want to try. I don't want to get overly full. But these, man. Mm -mm -mm. No napkins. It was up to me to get napkins, and I totally forgot them. So the, the napkins were right there behind me. Cannot go wrong. All right. Let's see what else we got. Looks a little messy. I did get a um, Chicago dog, and I got a Norm's Big Dog. I think this may be the Norm's Big Dog. I think. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see if I can do. Do a uh, look at that. That looks like it's coleslaw. Um, they call it loose meat. Um, chili, I think. I totally forgot. But it's got a bunch of stuff on it. It's a loaded dog. So without further ado. Let's try this bad boy. Mmm. Mmm. Don't have napkins, but I do, do have that. And somebody asked, what is that rag right there? Every time I get a car wash, they give me one. <laughs> wow. That is a different flavor. If I ever tasted a different flavor on a hot dog before, I have never had that type of flavor. I don't need that. Wow. Everything complements it very, very good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You got a sweetness from the coleslaw. You got the chili cheese on it. I think I taste onions, I think. Mm. This sucker is really, really good. I would definitely get this again. Come back here and get this one with the uh, foot long one because they have the foot long ones. I chose to get the short ones because I didn't try a couple of different ones. And th this is the Norm's Big Dog. The one I'm smacking on right now. <laughs> Man, that's that's very good. I never tasted something like that before in my life. That's very good. What up? Got a couple more of these. <laughs> Little bag treasures. This has got to be Chicago Dog. I have never in my life had a Chicago Dog. Never. Not one time. Um, I guess it's your typical run-of-the-mill Chicago dog, I guess. 
It's got like, looks like poppy seed bun. Okay. Um, tomatoes. It's like sweet relish, mustard, whatever's on the Chicago dog, I guess. Let's try it. I'm losing stuff. Hmm. Definitely different. I'm not from Chicago. <laughs> I'm definitely not from Chicago. Um, I taste the pickle spear. I, there's pepper, some kind of pepper on it. Um, uh, tomatoes. I mean, we're going to eat it. That kind of pepper. Hmm. Definitely different. My first ever Chicago dog at Coney Allen. Now, I do have to say it's good. It's not bad. It's got a lot of different flavors happening right now. <laughs> a lot. I, I taste the tomato. I taste the pepper. I taste the, uh, the, um, the pickle for sure. Uh, the re I think it's relish on there. Whatever that green stuff is, I guess it's relish. I don't know what it is. I take I, I taste a bunch of different flavors. Hmm. Okay, I have to say it's fresh. It really is fresh. It really is, you know, okay. It's definitely something to try. If you've never had a Chicago dog, try it. Oh man, it's like the pickle flavor is really overbearing. I think it's a pickle flavor. I don't know. Something's overbearing. I, I wouldn't order it again. Only because it's, it's it's okay. It's good. It, they made. I think they made it well. If you're from Chicago, do they make it well? You seen the picture? <laughs> I don't want to show you now because it looks like shit now. But they got these. Looks like green relish uh, tomatoes. I mean, it looked like a typical. It looked like the picture. It really did. It looked like the picture. I never look. Um, oh, man. Uh, what I was trying to say. Oh, if you're from Chicago or you know what an authentic Chicago dog is, let me know in the comments. Because I think I just what I just had. I know I had a Chicago dog. And it looked authentic to me. Because I've never been to Chicago. Don't know. My first Chicago dog ever. And it's good. Just, I wouldn't have it back because there's just too much going on. Like I said, it's good, just not great. Normally, what I eat on my hot dogs is mayonnaise, mustard, onions, cheese, salt, and pepper. Um, and I'm open to any kind of hot dog now. The other hot dog, the Norm's Big Dog, <coughs> excuse me, had a coleslaw on it, chili and cheese, I think onion, onions on it, and I think mustard and cheese. It was really, really good. It was totally different flavor. The flavors wasn't overbearing. The Norm's Big Dog was awesome. I'd, I'd have that again in a heartbeat. Um, the the, the, the um, Chicago Dog, I think the peppers and the pickles was just too much. Uh, I don't know. 
Corn dog was great. We got, I, I didn't know it was a whole corn. I'm not going to eat the whole corn. I never do. Um, I just want to try it. It's deep fried. Um, smells great. Anything deep fried is good. We're in the South, baby. And everything in the South is just about deep fried. Smells great. Let's do it this way. I don't want to get all buttery hands. There. That's legit. Mm -mm. Said I wasn't going to eat it all, but it probably will. <laughs> That's some good corn. That is some good corn. Put that there for there. Come finish the rest of that in a minute. That is made a mess. I'm sorry. That is all the time we have today. Because we're out of food. But. Mm -hmm. That corn is on some different level shit. That corn is on some different level shit. That is some good corn. Um, everything was superb. Hot, uh, corn dog was good. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Corn dog was good. Onion rings were fire. Super fire. They were really, really good. Um, I didn't have to have any condiments or anything. Them, them, uh, them onion rings are <laughs> top notch. Um, corn, superb. The, uh, the Chicago dog was good. It was nice and fresh, but I guess Chicago Dog is just not my cup of tea. I wanted to try it, though. I wanted to see what all the uh, the hoopla is on a uh, Chicago Dog. Um, Norm's Big Dog, amazing. Definitely come get, if you're at Coney Island in Florida, I don't know if it's the same Coney Island in, in uh, New York or anything. I don't know if it has the same menu or not. But the Norm's Big Dog is the way to go. Um, they had other dogs too, like just mustard, mustard and onions. I, I know I'd like that because I like mustard and I like onions. But I want something better or something different on my hot dogs. So that's why I chose the, uh, the, the Chicago Dog. And that's why I chose the Norm's Big Dog. Because the Norm's Big Dog, she told me, was um, was the, uh, the loaded dog. And it was loaded. It, it was really, really good. Um... They took care of me in there. Everybody's super, uh, all, all the employees are super, super nice and very helpful. So I, I cut up with them a little bit in there and uh, told them my, my YouTube channel. So hopefully you're watching. And, um, and please subscribe if you are watching. It really helps my channel. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but hey, definitely, if you see Coney Island, um, it's just called Coney Island Drive In, world famous footlongs. Stop. You won't be disappointed. That's if you like hot dogs. If you don't like hot dogs, stop anyway. They got cheeseburgers. And they got a barbecue sandwich in there. But I wanted to get hot dogs at a hot dog place. And that's what we did. So Coney Island is an awesome place to come. If you're in Zephyr Hills, you're in Wildwood, Florida, stop in and get you some um, some hot dogs. Um, if if they're else, elsewhere, stop in. You won't be disappointed. And get their onion rings. They had cheese fries too. But I wanted to try the onion rings. And super glad I did because they're superb. All right, I'm not sure where I'm meeting next. Have a couple ideas. I kind of want to do some fried chicken again, uh, but I'm not real sure. Um, don't forget, I love each and every one of you. Be nice to somebody today. Uh, be kind. Spread the kindness uh, bug. I want the kindness bug to sweep the nation because everybody's on some stupid shit now, man. We got to keep this kindness going. I love every one of you. All right, so next time. Be safe, be healthy, eat all kind of food, eat what you want. I love you guys. Bye.